Hello everyone, greetings from Poland. My name is Emilia Demcher and I represent Carita Foundation in Wiesbaden Adamiec. I have a great pleasure to present you our programs that we conducted during uh, COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, this is a great pleasure to be a part of this masterclass. And first of all, I would like to tell you a few words about our mission as the foundation. First of all, it is to provide patients and communities with comprehensive support, education and awareness, which is very important to us. Secondly, we would like to support our patients and the caregivers in the field of care, social assistance and the health protection. And finally, uh, last but not least, to help introduce new treatment methods to the Polish market, because we really see that uh, access uh, and improvement of this access is very important for all of our patients. And this is why uh, we implemented 360 degrees care program. And I'd say that it was initiated uh, more or less by the COVID outbreak uh, because we saw that there are a lot of different areas uh, that we really should support. And in this remote times, in the times where we can, when we cannot meet in person, we had to do even more. And it motivated us even more to do uh, the things which are much diversified and uh, and um, meeting uh, the different needs. Uh, so I will be going now to to the details of the of the project under this whole umbrella. First of all, when uh, when we experienced the, the outbreak, uh, we saw the needs uh, very simple that people do not have uh, the right. Uh, personal protective equipment. And that was both for physicians and for the patients. And so the first action that we conducted after the outbreak uh, was joining the forces for hospitals that we did together with the other patients organizations from Poland. And so we supported uh, the hospitals with the personal protective equipment. Uh, and that was around uh, 1,000, um, uh, oh, sorry, 100,000 uh, Polish uh, złotych, which is around $30,000. Uh, and so that was that was a grant from Carita, but but together we provided even more. That was with all these organizations that were the tons of personal protective equipment, which was so much essential at the beginning of the of the outbreak. And secondly, uh, which is same importance, we focused on our patients who also had to be protected well, who still have to be protected well. And this is why we implemented the other program, which was Onco Ochrona, Onco Protection. And we prepared the safety kits for the patients, uh, consisting of the gloves, the face masks, and uh, the face shields. And uh, that was distributed to all our patients. Uh, and that was, that was the first step. So first is about, you know, the, the, the health itself to protect the health. Secondly, uh, we, we, uh, we thought about uh, the education. We had to change our programs because we had plans uh, the offline events and, and we had uh, so many events plans already at the beginning of the year, but we had to change our way of thinking. And on the other hand, we initiated something even before COVID uh, that, that helped to uh, connect with our patients remotely. So we introduced Carita TV uh, platform uh, that was introduced, I'd say, in uh, 2018, I, I, I guess. So that was that, 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 that it is already some history. Uh, and so uh, this is a platform where, where, where uh, the patients who cannot, uh, who cannot participate in the real offline events, um, they, 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 they have the, all the streamings, uh, first of all, live. Um, provided there and secondly uh, all of them are archived there and so everyone can can take a look at that uh, anytime and uh, that was even before COVID as I said and um, we saw that there is a great potential in that uh, because each uh, each streaming, each each uh, let's say webinar was uh, was uh, viewed for for hundreds of times, which which is really I think a big number. Um, as you know, uh, this is this is a rare disease, and and uh, there are not so many patients. So hundreds of views 
is something which which is a big number and this is why we we decided to to move um to the to to to, to do even more and uh, we implemented the patient academy program uh, and uh, these are the series of webinars conducted uh, within the whole year, and we are still continuing that uh, with the different uh, uh, different lecturers. Um, basically, these are the topics like the newest treatments, um, the, the also the coronavirus um, uh, topics, um, how to how to treat, how to protect, uh, how to uh, how to uh, get support during the outbreak, but also. Uh, what we see as a very important is the psychological support, especially in the COVID times. In the times of isolation, we really have to think about uh, not only physical health, but also the mental health of our, of our members. And this is what we, uh, we did as well. And finally, uh, we implemented uh, something more. Uh, because we saw that there is a great, great need uh, to uh, basically commute to the hospitals, because um, you know it's it's quite risky to to use the public transportation, even with all this personal pro pro protective equipment. It's still it's still the risk, uh, and for some patients, uh, they 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 didn't feel well, for instance. So they needed something more, and we decided to implement the other program, which which is taxi care, taxi pomoc in Polish, and uh, this is the program regarding transportation to the hospital. And uh, we uh, we uh, still um, contact this. Uh, we are still still providing our patients with this opportunity, and so we see that there's a great need for this, and and there is a great interest, and really um, there's a good feedback regarding this program. Um, so so patients are very much satisfied with that. And secondly, which is which is something very, I'd say, innovative and uh, needed as well, especially in these remote times. Uh, sometimes, you know, the patients cannot uh, meet with their families, uh, or they they, they 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 live just you know alone at their homes, uh, and um, sometimes it's even um, you know more difficult to. So to, to find the help in a situation when when we feel not so well, and uh, we decided that uh, we need to uh, provide our patients with 24 hours, um, you know, caring system. Uh, this is the monitoring system, health mon monitoring system. And this is a telecare uh, program. And uh, we, we this this consists of the bands uh, that patients wear on the wrist, uh, and uh, the, there there are this, uh, several uh, things uh, included in that. So first of all, it monitors it monitors the uh, monitors the health, so the pulse, uh, you know, the the well being. But on the other hand, the patient uh, can't. Um, basically uh, contact with the with 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 the hospital in case of 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 the situation when she he uh, doesn't feel so well there is a sos uh, button so in case that really there's something serious happening uh, they can they can call the doctor or the, or the ambulance uh, so this is something that uh, makes our patients uh, feeling really safe in this in these hard times, uh, and we just implemented uh, this program uh, months two months ago, and this is something which which also is uh, is generating the great interest, and uh, it's um, uh, it's in the interest of uh, not only the, the, the older patients but also the younger. Uh, so we see that this is something which which was the good step, and and there is uh, there is the great uh, interest from the partners. So we really hope that we will be able to provide this program as long as possible. And last but not least, uh, recently we uh, we implemented the Oncoline uh, program. Uh, which is a kind of the remote support. There is the dedicated telephone number, and so the patients can call the doctor uh, to consult, uh, to to ask, to uh, to to raise the questions. Uh, and there is the chemotologist, psycho oncologist, and dietitian. 
uh, and um, and they uh, they have the dedicated time uh, where they they are available, and so ev every patient can call and can and can ask and can really you know consult uh, the the health uh, remotely, uh, and that's that's I think the the very beginning, uh, but but we see the great need for such support, and and we think that will be continuing, even. If we come back to the, you know, reality, uh, we and, and we can meet in person. Uh, sometimes, you know, the, the short call is enough uh, to to make sure that everything is going well. And uh, and we and we see that that this is this is this is something that we would like to continue. And finally, we miss we miss uh, meetings in reality. We miss uh, the events like the one on the, uh, in the photo uh, that was uh, that was the Norway exploration that we did with our patients. Very motivating, great event, by the way. Uh, and we would like to come back to such events. However, uh, this uh, COVID times, this times of the remote uh, working, remote uh, meetings um, brought some uh, lessons uh, for us that, uh, you know, not every patient can climb the mountain. Uh, some people cannot even attend the meeting. But uh, thanks to the tools that were developed during COVID, we can be much closer to the patients and we can provide really you know comprehensive uh, support and we can be from time to time even closer to them than before uh, so uh, i think that we'll be going back to some offline activities and that's for sure however uh, we have some lessons learned and uh, we'll for sure be continuing the, the virtual meetings, the recordings, uh, the virtual remote help and support. And, uh, and we are happy that uh, I'd say we even developed our organization um, because of this situation and we developed ourselves. Uh, and that was, the, that was a great lesson for, for us. Uh, and thank you very much. Uh, and Hope to see you also in uh, at the offline event. Uh, but but that's great that we can connect like this uh, today. Thank you. Thank you very much.